Hey everybody, Ishmael Kolya, Isha Realtor, Associate Broker with EXP Realty. We are in August 2024, and if you are in the market to buy or sell a house, perhaps you've heard a whole lot of buzz about the real estate industry changing drastically uh, compared to the last several decades. So I'm going to take a few minutes to briefly explain what those differences are. Uh, I would love to get on a phone call or meet face-to-face -to, -face to further go into details, but briefly for now, what has changed compared to previously? Previously, as you may have been aware, a uh, listing agent would meet with the seller, seller would hire the listing agent, uh, and they would start to work together to sell the property. The listing agent would also establish their own fee for the work that they would do for the seller. And at the same time, on that same document, the seller would also agree to pay a certain percentage to the buyer's agent for bringing the buyer uh, to this transaction. And that is the uh, process that perhaps you are aware of, and that is the process that we have uh, worked with for the last several decades. However, going forward, that has all changed due to Department of Justice ruling uh, which was the result of several large lawsuits in the real estate industry. So what is different now? What's different now is that the sellers would still be hiring their own agent, which is the listing agent, and establishing that fee to, for that listing agent's work that the agent would be doing for selling the house. However, going forward, sellers would no longer be paying the buyer's agent fee through the listing brokerage. The sellers, sellers previously had the option to not pay buyer's agent, and the sellers still have the option to not pay a buyer's agent. However, if a seller wants to pay a buyer's agent, they may do so directly to the buyer's agent. It is no longer going to go through the listing agent or the listing brokerage. That fee has been now, now been separated. What else is different is if the sellers choose, the sellers may give an amount, a dollar amount in concession directly to the buyers. Hey buyer, thank you for buying my house. I understand that you have certain costs associated on your end, perhaps renovating the property a bit, there are closing costs. Perhaps you have an agent that you'll need to pay here is a $10,000 check that we're going to give you as a seller concession. This amount is not for the fee uh, that the buyer may be charging their agent, uh, or the agent rather may be charging their buyer, but rather this amount is for the buyer and to be used at the buyer's discretion. The buyer may use that for renovations, the buyer may use that to pay for their closing costs, and the buyer may use that amount, some of that amount, all of that amount to pay their buyer's agent. So briefly, two things have changed. The sellers will no longer be paying the buyer's agent through the listing brokerage, rather the sellers may choose, may choose, they have a choice, to pay the buyer agent directly, or they have a choice not to pay the buyer agent at all. Second option that the sellers may exercise is that they can choose to give a seller, uh, seller concession, which is a dollar amount directly to the buyer to be used by the buyer at their discretion. And that amount can be whatever the seller may choose. It may be 5,000, maybe 2,000, it may be 20,000. Lastly, what else is changing on the buyer side is that in New York, buyers did not need to sign an exclusive agreement or any paperwork before they started to work with an agent to go see houses. In other states, that is the case. However, in New York, buyers did not need to sign any exclusive paperwork in order to work with an agent and go see houses. That has now changed. Now, when a buyer wants to see a house, that buyer will need to sign paperwork with an agent, any agent of their choice, in order to go see that property. All right. And when they're signing that paperwork, that paperwork will establish the relationship between that agent as well as the buyer, but it will also establish any fee. So now a buyer will agree to work with that agent and will also agree to pay that agent an X percentage. Okay. For example, 1%, 2%, 5%. 
doesn't really matter. There is no standard in the business. You have to understand that there is no fixed amount. There is no fixed percentage. It is whatever the buyer and the agent agrees to, just like it is whatever the seller and the seller's agents agree to on the listing side. Again, so when the buyers want to go out and see a property or a number of properties, they will be signing a paperwork, an exclusive agreement to work with that agent. And that exclusive agreement can be a blanket agreement, agreement for many properties, or it can be an agreement just for one property. However, they will need to sign that paperwork and agree to pay that agent a percentage uh, for, their, for their work. Uh, now that percentage, again, they may recover that from the seller uh, depending on the offer that is presented to the seller or the seller may choose to give a, an amount in seller concession directly to the buyer. I understand that this may be confusing and I, I, I get it. Uh, that's why I'm inviting you to give me a call 914-215-1540 or shoot me an email at ishyourrealtor at gmail.com and I'd be more than happy to speak to you on the phone, get on a Zoom, meet you face-to-face -face, and so forth. So again, the industry is changing drastically and it will be different. It is different compared to what it has been over the last several dec decades. My name is Ishmael Kolia, Associate Broker with EXP Realty. Ishyourrealtor.com is my website where you'll see my inventory, where you'll see my background, my history, History, my sales, my client testimonials, and so much more. Isherealtor.com. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to working with you and your family, whether you need to buy or sell in 2024 and beyond. Take care. Bye-bye.